Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. As a necessity of modern industry, chips have always been an industry that all countries attach importance to. If a complete chip wants to be applied in the market, it must go through four links, design, manufacturing, packaging and testing. Although China has reached the world's first class level in chip design, packaging and testing, it still has shortcomings in chip manufacturing, especially in the field of high-end chips. Currently, only Taiwanese companies TSMC and Samsung can mass-produce mobile phone chips with advanced processes. It is precisely because of this that in order to restrict the development of Huawei's Kirin chips, the United States directly forced the modification of chip rules and introduced the CHIPS Act, forcing TSMC to stop manufacturing Kirin chips for Huawei, and even Samsung could only listen and obey. After all, they all used American technical patents and equipment to a greater or less extent. As the supply of high-end chips was cut off, Huawei also fell into the dilemma of having no chips available. Without the support of Kirin chips, Huawei's mobile phone business plummeted and quickly fell out of the first echelon, which was shocking. However, even so, the United States did not stop but instead launched comprehensive sanctions against China's semiconductor industry. In order to block China in the 14 nanometers process, the United States not only banned ASML from selling EUV lithography machines to China, but also wooed Japan and the Netherlands to sign a tripartite agreement. Even mid-range DUV lithography machines, such as 2050, I and 1980, were restricted from export. It was simply a killing move. But what the United States never expected was that in the past few years of suppressing China with all its strength, although it had severely damaged Chinese companies such as Huawei, it still could not defeat these companies. In fact, thanks to its unremitting efforts and heavy investment in research and development, China has begun to break through. For example, at the end of August 2023, Huawei returned strongly with the Kirin chip, and Huawei phones equipped with the Kirin chip once again surpassed Apple in the first quarter of this year with a 17% share to occupy the first place in domestic smartphones. It can be said that it is very gratifying. What makes the United States even more uncomfortable is that in addition to the strong return of Huawei's Kirin chip, China's Fudan University recently suddenly announced a major breakthrough. According to media reports, the Zhu Pengliu Chunsen research team of Fudan University has developed a self-aligned process that can bypass the lithography equipment, which can be combined with the ultra-fast storage stacked electric field design theory to advance the flash memory chip to 8 nanometers. In other words, in the field of memory chips, this new process can be used to bypass the lithography machine and directly produce 8 nanometers process flash memory chips. It is reported that the paper has been published in the international authoritative journal Nature. You must know that in the current silicon-based flash memory chip field, the process technology limit is 15 nanometers. As long as it is lower than 15 nanometers, 
The process will be very unstable. So even Samsung and SK Hynix have not pursued more advanced process technology, but have achieved performance improvement through multilayer stacking. However, the research team of Fudan University stated that through the self-aligned process and the ultra-fast storage stacked electric field design theory, it is possible to achieve a process technology of flash memory chips below 15 nanometers or even 8 nanometers without relying on EUBVB lithography machines. Not only that, according to researchers, this flash memory chip uses a new two-dimensional semiconductor structure, which is expected to increase 1,000 times in speed and also has the advantages of ultra-fast programming, 10-year non-volatile, 100,000 cycle life and polymorphic storage performance. Therefore, once this technology is applied on a large scale and mass-produced, the global flash memory chip landscape will be rewritten and subverted. In this regard, even foreign media have said, the more Chinese chips are blocked, the stronger they are. The general trend of Maishin Enterprises is over. As the saying goes, the truth always exists within the range of the artillery shell, and those who lag behind will be beaten. Decades ago, China started late in the field of semiconductor manufacturing which led to being strangled by foreign countries. With the emergence of Huawei's Karine chips, the United States attempted to restrict the development of Chinese chips by imposing a ban. But what they did not expect was that thanks to its unremitting efforts in research and development and its indomitable spirit, China's semiconductor chip industry is beginning to rise rapidly. Now not only has Huawei's Karine chips returned again, but Fudan University has also developed a new process for bypassing the lithography machine to make 8 nanometers flash memory chips. It can be said that as long as this process technology is mass-produced, then the future of Chinese chips will inevitably rise again and break all blockades. Please like if you agree.